YouTube. We are playing Vex support on the PBE, trying her out. I think this champ could be supportable because basically her passive gives her a fear on all of her abilities so she can AoE proc it on all of the champions. Um, She's kind of confusing, but basically her Q is like a poke spell. So you shoot a Q out, it starts slow, and then it speeds up really quick. As you can see, they got feared because I had my passive up. Her W is an AoE damage, and it gives herself a shield. And her E is an AoE slow that you can proc. And her ulti is kind of... Uh, like a Kaisa W, and then you can ulti in. So she actually plays really similar to Nico, I think. So when I get my fear back up here, what I think will happen in team fights, she'll be like Nico. I think you'll hit your R on someone. You'll jump in, W fear everyone in Zanya's. While they're feared, your team comes in and kills someone. If you kill someone, you get a reset, and then you can like jump back out. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go try her out. Let me know if you guys like the content here. Comment below and stuff. And yeah, what I'm thinking so far is probably three points Q for the poke because it gets the most damage. And after three points in it and lane phase is ending, I'll probably start maxing my W to increase the shield size into E max last and just leave Q at three points. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. And I'm also thinking I might try Zanya's rush into Imperial Mandate. I think Zanya's will be really good because again of the combo where you are in AoE fear everyone and then Zanya's, you don't die. And then you get a reset. And I'll probably go Imperial Mandate next because you can just easily apply it onto everyone you fear and give your team extra damage. So, yeah, this is the build I'm thinking of testing, but it's day one on PBE. We'll see how it goes. So, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, YouTube, you probably just saw that intro of the abilities, and we're getting into the first game right here. So, hopefully, we do good here. So, we're going to leash this camp. Ooh, look at that big fear on the camp. Big pog. This is huge plays. Wow. Imagine the leashes you're giving with those. No clickbait. It's amazing. No, I'm just kidding. Alrighty. And we're facing a Pogma and a Lux. By the way, this is um, on the PBE and I'm just... These are all fans that are playing right now with me, so... Well, that was very low amount of damage. This is PBE and I'm playing with all fans, so next time a new champ's coming out or something, you should check out my stream and maybe you can play. Oh, look at the big fear. Wow. It's insane. Okay, so far, no lie, I don't want to hype up things too much, but the poke seems very, very small. Okay, but pulling the gloom. You know what? Taking E level 1 might be better than Q because you can... um. Hit the E to proc Gloom on them and then pull the Gloom off of them. That might be a better trade level 1 than taking Q. Um, the bar, the bar tells you if you have your Fear up. So since it's red, it means I have the Fear up. So my next ability I hit will Fear. To detonate Gloom? Yeah, you need to auto attack to detonate it. I mean, the poke is okay. The E range is quite low, though. Okay, you know what? Yeah, this burst is quite... Her poke isn't great, but her burst is really high. Really high. When you hit that full combo, damn. She's actually got, she's not a great poke champ, but her, she's got burst. Alrighty. We got a kill. I'm liking it. Now I'm just going to go B. I always take biscuits when I'm trying a new champ because I'm going to spam spells on cooldown. But so far I've been using everything on CD. And I'm not, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, mono wise, not too bad also. So I'm going to be rushing Zanya's because I think Zanya's rush will be really good on her. Mana seems fine. Yeah, considering I've just been spamming spells on cooldown. But yeah, after so far, I'm thinking maybe E level 1's best. Because you get your 68 damage, and then you fear them, and you hit the auto attack for Gloom. And I think it out damages Q. The Q level 1 poke seemed very not great. But this goes up by 50 damage with each point in it. It's crazy how much it goes up. So once I start getting some points in it, it's going to start doing some damage. Can you show the passive range, please? 
Oh yeah, it's quite long. That's huge. It's like your whole screen. The passive range is basically your screen. This thing jangle? I don't know. I'm just trying its support. What's her passive? It basically allows her to fear. What happened to my gloom? I didn't fear her. Death is the true meaning of life. Whoa, that's deep. Okay, we're smurfing. Does that love it didn't fear? Yeah, I don't know why it didn't fear. So this goes up by 50 points, 50 damage. It goes from 60 to 110, so it basically doubles in damage with a point in it. It's pretty good. TBH, I could see a world, because this only does 100 damage and you have to get in range. I can see a world where you put two points in Q instead of taking W versus like a range poke lane. Versus melee supports for sure, because you want the W for the shield. I could see a world versus where you're versus a poke lane, where you would just put two points in Q instead. Cool. Oh, sniper. Okay, I need to be careful. I took way too much damage there. Okay, you know what? You turned those at least. Use your gloom on E and you miss. Doesn't need to hit to be to use it, does it? Your E needs to hit to get gloom, but gloom is just your damage passive. The fear is doom. She has two passives, so it can get a bit confusing. She has doom and gloom. I like her. She feels fun. I'll have to try her into more matchups, but she definitely feels somewhat supportable so far. See her at full build? We'll see. I'm going to be going a more supportive build. I'm going Zanya's Rush into Imperial Mandate. I'm going something that I think would be better at high elo, but I think if I was going a lower elo build, I think you'd go Night Harvester on this girl. This place is so getting harrowed. New main ink? Well, always main Nico, but yeah, I might, I, if I like her, and I do so far, and if she's good into enough matchups, yeah, I might. I miss, like, everything there. So far, she looks balanced. I mean, yeah, so far, her abilities all seem pretty dodgeable. I keep feeling like, again, it didn't seem like she got feared at all there, but maybe I'm just missing something. Wow, look at that damage. You hit the Q, which puts the fear on them, which lets you always land the E, and then you can walk up and pull the gloom off. Wow. Wow, that's doing a lot of damage too. I think I'm going to scratch the idea of 3 points E. I think I'm just going to max this. Max the Q. Like, it's just doing so much damage per point in it. Jeek, you're bullying. I'm inting. <laughs> I could have used my W to uh, to live if I gave myself a shield there. 
Is this live or PvE? This is PvE. Into win strat? I don't think I did any winning on that play, but yeah. Wait, look at this. She's like riding her like thingy. Jeek, stop typing. Pay attention. See, again, did it not seem like it didn't fear there? Where was the fear? I'm so confused. Why isn't it not always fearing? Show her dance? Sure. This is her control four. This is her control three. This is her control two. Passive CD, but when the bar is red, her gloom is up. And this is her control one. Dude, I don't- I, I'm really getting annoyed. Why is it not fearing? I had my- my bar up again, it was red. And I hit Gulag, and he didn't get freaking... Next world, if it misses, it's wasted. Did you land your first ability? My next ability to interrupt- You're saying it goes on cooldown if I miss. Is that what's happening here? Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, I get it. Okay, I didn't realize if you miss, it goes on cooldown. Wow, okay, that makes this champ a lot harder then. This is not a 200 year broken champ. Right is learnt. It's like Annie, but Annie's like, yeah, but Annie's spells are a lot easier to hit. Okay, okay this champ isn't as 200 years as we all once thought it was. Okay. This champ has counterplay. If you miss your abilities, she loses the fear. Okay. Try Vex's support. I am playing Vex's support right now. Um, and she feels okay. God, this is actually really hard then. In a, in a way, it's too hard to hit the fear because her abilities are really unhittable. Like, if I was facing, like, in Grandmaster Elo versus, like, Grandmaster players, this would be really hard to ever, like, you would just keep wasting your fear every time. Oh, no fear and then hold it up for E to slow push them towards you and then EQ. Yeah, but you could still miss your E then. Like, I think this champ is really hard. I didn't realize it got wasted if you missed. I thought it was just like if you hit. So I got a... Has a dash in their alt? Yeah, so I like dashed in with my fear, and then I feared the Kogma. Okay. You're lucky. Being a ghost is so cool. Vex on PBE? Yup, we're playing some Vex, and she feels definitely supportable. She definitely feels worse than Nico, but supportable she does feel. Dude, I keep pushing W when I hit my freaking fear, and just like doing nothing. <laughs> Every time, I always push my W, and then I'm like, oh wait, never mind. So I'm gonna be maxing my W second to get a bigger shield.
And like I said, I'm gonna be going Imperial Mandate next. I think Imperial Mandate will be good on this girl. Gamercraft? Yup, yup. My sponsor, Gamercraft. I never really shouted it out on a YouTube video before, but for any YouTube viewers, Gamercraft, you should check them out. They sponsor me and keep me going. Um, they do online tournaments that you can enter for free and make money. And you can queue up for ranked of like, you can queue up for like a bronze tournament. And there's like a solo queue feature so you can find turn people on the app to like queue up with and stuff. So it's pretty cool. All right. Back the heck up there, Gulag. For that, her base stats wouldn't be enough, but it actually uh, sit in her passive dash range of Ellie Yasuo's. How does it feel? Uh, it feels like, for the most part, the fear thingy. I don't know. The fear doesn't like. People are overhyping how she's going to counter dash champs because most of the time you're like, fear and stuff's going to be on cooldown. Like, you say it counters dash champs, but it's like the same thing as if Fiddlesticks just, like, pushed fear on them. And the gloom damage is nice, but it's not, like, something where it's, like, you know, you can't play the game. That's around here? Yeah, it does. Oh, true. Okay, yeah. Does her doom go down with CDR is the question. Like, can I build CDR boots maybe and make my... Because if CDR boots reduces the cooldown also, that's really important. Fix the purple bar bug? Yeah, they fixed that, like, literally, like, two months ago. Nice. Well, game one, Vex feels fun. I am noticing, though, I am kind of having a bit of mana issues this game. I haven't oomed yet, but Biscuits might be not bad on her. 10 CS per minute? Loss. Let the enemy play the game. This is why I told you, Loss. You were like, let's invade level one. I was like, why are we going to invade? These poor souls. Here, follow Haas. What to get next? Ah. Uh... Okay, one sec. The cooldown is 22 seconds. Let's see if it goes down now, because I bought that, right? So it was 22 seconds. No, it doesn't go down with CDR. So buying CDR doesn't reduce it. Thank you for the follow. How many times can you recast the R? You get one, and then if you kill someone, it resets. So you can get five of them if you keep, like, kill, reset, kill, reset, kill, reset. Your team has destroyed a turret. Trudged. Yeah. Trudged. Dominating. So what? The enemy has been slain. 
them. That uh, shield's getting pretty big, too. Maybe Manny's not that good. I didn't even get a single proc in all of that. Her passive range is so long to make up for no CR reduction. Yeah, but her auto attack range is so low, right? You have to actually auto attack those targets too. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the Vex gameplay. See you around.